I'm here at HPE Discover with Brett Gibbs and scalable persistent memory is something that I'm curious about how that fits into HPE's big picture. Okay, uh, thanks Jake. Yeah, we're here at Discover Las Vegas 2017 introducing the new HPE scalable persistent memory. Now, scalable persistent memory is new and unique in the market for a couple of reasons. One is we have up to terabyte scale capacity, Jake, that allows you to have up to uh, you know, DRAM performance at the terabyte scale, which is going to really unlock new use cases that our NVDIM technology is not covering today. Uh, think of larger in-memory compute with persistence. So uh, one of the common use cases I like to talk about is uh, checkpoints. Checkpoints happen every time your application is running in memory. Periodically it has to save off to a non-volatile source. That typically introduces latency or a storage bottleneck. Now imagine being able to checkpoint to DRAM, uh, which has low nanosecond latency performance, and so you can vastly improve pretty much any application running in the data center. Uh, it also uh, enables larger things like in-memory compute with persistence. In-memory compute is not new. In-memory compute with persistence at terabyte scale, DRAM performance, that's what's new. How does this fit in, like, so HP's got the machine coming, which is memory-driven right. computing, and this, is, this sounds like this is a step towards that. Is that Absolutely, true? that's very, very intuitive, right? Uh, one of the analogies I like to use is, in the United States, uh, you had the Apollo mission to get to the moon. Uh, Apollo 11 landed on the moon, but you're not going to get Apollo 11 on the moon without uh, Apollo missions 1 through 10. Uh, the steps that we're taking here, this is kind of in the what I would call the Apollo 2, 3, and 4 range. To get to that vision of memory-driven computing, it takes steps like this to get along the way. The key thing here is this is not vaporware, Jake. This is stuff that we'll be shipping. This is stuff that's real in the market, and HPE is uh, in the lead in this persistent memory category. Are there any customers that are doing some early trials of this right now? Yeah, we have uh, several customers that we're working with. Uh, a couple that we visited in Europe, uh, in the uh, you know both in the aerospace as well as the energy sector. Uh, we actually have at our booth at Discover uh, some use cases uh, specifically from those uh, different industries. So what we're focusing in on now is not only delivering the hardware, but the complete hardware and software ecosystem. Uh, the software ecosystem, of course, is the uh, not only the application support for this and fine-tuning those applications to take advantage of the performance, but it's also the operating system support. So that's uh, another differentiator that I would bring out that Hewlett Packard Enterprise delivers to the market. That is the complete hardware and software ecosystem. You got to ask your vendor, are you doing both? And HPE is providing that today. And so is that is that operating system agnostic, so that it'll work with any operating system as long as you guys have tuned it, or are there specific ones that people need to use? Yeah, there's specific operating systems, so it does require a software driver to enable support. Uh, also, we're working with uh, companies like VMware who are working on uh, their hypervisor uh, to enable support on persistent memory. They will be making announcements, uh, further announcements at that at uh, VMworld 2017 in August. And uh, right today what we have is we have support for Windows, we have uh, Linux, and uh, VMware will be making announcements later this year uh, to talk about the support they have for persistent memory. Great, I look forward to see what's coming. Thank you, Jake. Thanks, Brad.